What's up and welcome back. Today, super exciting day, lots of news, but let's start with this massive monolith of a puzzle built by UK-based puzzle creator and craftsman Felix Yore. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that we've done a lot of Felix's puzzles in the past and they've been challenging, they've been beautiful, and their solutions are always super unique. So Felix put together 10 of these monolith chests, only 10. He had pre-orders for them. This, I've been waiting for this thing for like a year. Uh, the price was around 5,000 pounds, which roughly is about seven or eight grand. Uh, so it's a a lot of money for a puzzle, but being one of 10 and being a work of art from Felix, I definitely wanted to support and I wanted to show you guys, hopefully, uh, how to solve this thing. Uh, so this thing is made of stainless steel, uh, brass, and it weighs at a whopping 77 pounds. Pretty heavy puzzle, probably the heaviest puzzle I have. Definitely the heaviest puzzle I have. And if you wanna grab one of these, and there might be one of you out there that's a, you know, a puzzle enthusiast that wants to cop one, Felix is actually putting it up on eBay. I left the eBay link below, 25% of proceeds will be donated to charity and the charity is The Big Issue, which is a UK-based charity which seeks to end homelessness. So going for a good cause, left the eBay link there. You guys can check it out. Apparently there are like 50 steps in total. So this is uh, gonna be a lengthy, a lengthy video. I'm mentally prepared for it though. I've been staring at it for a few days. That being said, a special announcement tomorrow, April 15th, Thursday at noon p.m. Eastern time, we will be launching our brand new collection at first dot shop. So if you want items such as this, or you want these new hats, these are our new space hats. I'm very excited for this drop, so stay tuned noon tomorrow. Without any further ado, let's solve the monolith puzzle by Felix Ur. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Here we are, got the GoPro strapped up, ready to go. I don't know what kind of view we're gonna end up getting from this GoPro, if it's gonna be perfect, but there's not much going on in the back. Let's have a look at this thing. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This monolith puzzle chest designed by, made by, uh, in the UK by Felix Ure. This chest is number seven of 10, as I mentioned. If you want one of 10, it'll be up on eBay. Proceeds going to a charity. Okay, so here we have three locks. One, two, three. And these locks are holding this drawer from being opened. And so I guess this is gonna be a hunt to find the three keys. I can't tell you how excited I am to start this puzzle. Um, I've noticed a few things. One on this side here, you can see there's like this button that doesn't go anywhere, which I expect would do something eventually. Uh, on this side we have, I don't know what this is, but it's something. And I don't know how to move it, but I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, on the top we have these knobs, which go down and on the back, we only have these holes here and I've checked in them. This one here, you can see this pin go up and down. This one's blocked by something. Uh, so that's what we're looking at right now. We have these six doors. It says there are eight compartments. I see seven, so I'm guessing the eighth one must be hidden. Maybe the top comes off. Maybe there's another drawer somewhere, but uh, here we go. So um, first things first, let's check the drawers. All right, this one seems to open like this. Doesn't move any more than that. These two uh, seem to be sequential, so blocked by this one. Oh, this here goes back and forth, and this seems to wiggle a little bit. So that's what we're that's what we're dealing with here. Let's try this one first. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Uh, this thing here is hooked up. You can see it kind of spinning on the side. It's hooked up to this somehow. Oh, okay. I just pushed this in. I pulled this back a bit and it went all the way in. Okay, so now it's like that. Oh, here we have a little sliding knob. I guess that's what locked it into place over there. This little dangling knob here. And uh, over here we still have this, which is now stuck. Okay, that opens it up. It's 
something can slide up or down over here. Hmm. Okay. These things also turn sort of independently. Oh. So here, when I turn this, it affects this door. See that? These two seem to be locked together. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. Hold on. My little mood lights here. My uh... What? This one looks like it can slide sideways. Just random levers and knobs that I can turn right now. Oh, cool. That is now stuck into place. It does no, no longer move because that one went in. Maybe I gotta do the same thing over here. Now this one, this button here is now stuck. Oh, there we go. Looks like we've gotten somewhere, but I can't really fully tell. Nice and shiny, this thing. This is still really intriguing. So that's attached to this somehow because when I go like this, I can get it stuck here. Something clicked here. I have a look back here. There are these two little holes. And see, I can only see the pin for this hole here. Oh, there's a little pin there. Felix has a way of putting subtle, very subtle hints in this puzzle as well. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go, I hope you're seeing this. Oh, cool. What is this? Okay, so we got this pin here. Might be a maze puzzle. Why this big hole here? There are no clues back there. Okay. Okay, there seems to be like a screw on the underside there. It definitely is a screw, so I'm wondering if I have to unscrew this. So if I keep my, if I pressure my pinky down on it, Looking if there are any indentations on it. Just seems like a few little scuffs, but nothing indicative of a clue. So again, darn these fat fingers. Well, I'm glad we got that far. So there is like a screw here. Maybe I can Oh. Hello. We have magnet. And 
you have a screw. Okay. Whoa, that is weird. It's not attracting. Whoa, that is weird. It's a really strong magnet, but it's attracting something underneath because it's not sticking to it yet. There, I feel a force. Okay. Aha. No, that's just that thing. This is a really powerful magnet. Oh my God. Oh, is it meant to pull these things back out? What have I done? Well, I can scratch that up real easily. Oh man. Okay, well, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Well, I mean, it had to be that. Whoa, there's an opposite. Oh my God, there's an opposite force here. I can't even force on that. Well, I'm guessing this was made to pull these up. Maybe they can now. If it wasn't for this one, I think it would open. So what I've got to do now is go back, however I did to, uh, however I did to push these drawers in. I have no idea what happened there. Okay, so I think once I push these drawers in, I can, I think I can push them back, turn that in, and then pull them out. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, uh, maybe all I need to do is pull them out. Okay, it's back in. Now I can turn this. Let's see if I can do it now. Running the magnet everywhere. Okay, the only places. This is being repelled by another magnet, as I mentioned, very strong, as well as down here. So this whole section is being repelled, which means maybe I can. Okay, so I know that these have to go on here. Unless that drawer had to stay open. I don't know if it had to stay closed, but I feel like I had to close it. So let's go ahead and try and close it again. So you can twist that back out and do it again. That was easy. Now we're out. So there is something locking it now on this bolt. This one seems to be a little further out. Maybe these two knobs have to align somehow. Still have to get these drawers out. I have a peek back here. Definitely giving me a run for my money, this one. Look at my hands, by the way. Getting very dirty, full of grease. This thing as well, this spinning thing is still a thing. I'm sweating up in here. This is tough. I mean, Felix, if anybody knows how to make it impossible, so. I, I suppose good job. <laughs> Duh. What if all the drawers are aligned equally? All right, I'm gonna hit up Felix and ask him for a small hint because I've been uh, battling the same the same turn of events for the last 30 minutes and I just want one small clue to get me going again. I said, Felix, wondering if I can get a small hint. I sent him a picture of where I'm at. Let's uh, wait to see if he responds. Okay, Felix hit us back not two minutes later. He hit us back with a hint here. He says, what tools have you discovered? And I said, enough said, obviously. This, oh, how can I be so stupid? Really disappointed in myself. That's the thing about these things. You always think you observe everything and then you're like at a loss. You're like, no, I didn't observe everything. Obviously, 
There's a hole back here, and since the beginning I've noticed there was a small screw. Uh, I've gotta use this to lever this button up somehow. But it's too short. I don't understand how that helps anyone. You can hear that. I'm lifting some type of mechanism. What exactly am I lifting? Oh, let's go. Oh, finally. Please tell me there's a key in here. There's no key in here. This is nothing but a drawer. This drawer is empty. There's like a hole there. Okay, I see how this works now. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. This is a really intricate design in there, as you can see. Crazy. Crazy. Do we now just do the same thing for, we can't do the same thing for the other side. There's a repelling force in the magnet here. What did this do? Is there anything here that I should be aware of? Put it in backwards? No. Just a box? Okay. And there's no real way that I can get this out without getting through to the back here. Let's see where the other one had a hole here where I was able to see inside and prod around with the, uh, with the bolt. This one is, uh, I'm not so lucky. So now we're stuck, but we've got one of these things out. But it does give us a little clue. Why would this hole be here? See, this hole allowed us to stick the bolt in, but this hole here has nothing to do with anything. Okay, I'm not how to sure, <laughs> not how to, I'm not how sure, I'm not sure how, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I'm not sure how I get this box out. There's a small groove where this pin here slides through, but the other one just is too low. Too low. Ah, here we go. I've got to turn it around completely. Like this. Oh my gosh. Woo! In here. Is that a false bottom? It is a false bottom. First, let's see what's in here. Ooh, it's a little prize. Triton, Titan's much easier little brother. No external tools are needed. The aim is to open the sphere. Wow, get out of here. This is so cool. So he released a puzzle called Titan, and I guess this is Triton. <laughs> okay, very cool. Another puzzle to solve along the way. That is definitely an amazing surprise. I love the use of the false bottom as well. Wow, this is a real adventure. We have a key. My goodness, what? What an adventure this has become. That is insane. Wow. Lock number one. Undone. We've got one lock done. Now, that frees up space back here. Okay, behind this box, 
There is a small notch similar to the notch here where we had to pick lock with the bolt, but it's not aligned with the hole that's on the back here. So my guess is I have to move this, which means I have to push this one in, boom, which then allows me to rotate this, which should free up the box here. Yes. So now you see how the box is free. Uh, now I got to take my bolt, my trusty bolt, go back there and perform the same operation I did earlier. Line that up nicely, just like so. Boom. Hmm. Now what does that give me? Wait, does it give me a magnet here? All right, had to wash my hands real quick. They were getting kind of dirty. Now the only part the only thing that I know is that this disc here, this disc rotates, look at that. And it is magnetized. Uh, here we go. Okay, something's up. Hey! Okay, something's up here. All right, I'm gonna bring in my chair for a second. My back's killing me. Oh no. And that's my GoPro dying. Thankfully, I don't think we need the GoPro on this part. Let's just go. I'm gonna go throw it on the charger right now. All right, I'm making a mess of this table too. This thing's getting scratched up as well. I, I mean, hey, this is what I paid for. I paid for the experience. It seems like it goes through a few, a few loops here. Yes. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, cool. That is so sick. So in here, I've got this knob and there's a magnet attached to that. So that knob is a magnet basically. And what I'm doing is I'm tunneling it through all these different little things. So I had to actually bring it around here through here up and out there. Insanely clever. We have another puzzle box. Oh, and this by the way now, hello. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. This uh, has a, a marble here. What the hell am I looking at? Where's my bolt? There's a little nut in there that I can itch. Oh, do I gotta balance? Oh my God. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. There are a bunch of these bolts here, but this one here particularly has like a thing on it, like a nut on it. That's that tall. I think I got to squeeze that marble between the, the bolt here and that nut, which makes it very difficult because it's not the last one. So I'm, I'm hoping that's what I have to do. Well, I mean, I'm not hoping I'm guessing. So forgive me if I'm going to be off camera. I have to balance. I'll show you guys after I'm, I've solved this, what the heck I'm talking about. Boom. 
Wow. Cool mechanic. So basically this, uh, so there's a marble in here. I had to balance the marble between this bolt and this here. So this was all just uh, a red herring. And in fact, would just be pushed up, sorry, would just be pushed up by the marble. Next prize is, uh, ooh, a brass spinning top by Felix. Still going, by the way. Look at it go. That's insane. That's an insane top and the detail on that is pretty sick. Another treasure uncovered. Uh, now we're into these boxes here. So this, I noticed, can move. Okay, let's see, maybe that magnet will come in handy once again. We do have opposite magnets here and at the top, on the top of this thing, there are some notches. I don't particularly know where there's not what those notches are for. So this middle drawer shifts to the back a bit like this, um, but is being stopped by something. Wait a second, does this twist out? Okay, hold on. So this one has to come out by itself. That one has to go back in, aha. How do I get this one back in? Easy. I take this magnet and I twist this thing all the way upright. Yes. Yeah, wow, okay. Boom, whoa. Boom. Let's go. Okay. We've got another box. How's this open now? <laughs> so here on this particular thing, this would turn and you'd have to line it up with this bolt for it to pass, kind of like a little little tumbler lock. That being said, let's keep that open. Here is my next key. Hey yeah, guys, sorry about the GoPro dying on me like that, but I mean, you're getting a pretty good angle here and I feel like with the GoPro, I wouldn't be able to see the intricacies of this anyways. Uh, there's some really dope mechanics in this box. As you can see, every single one of these boxes is just simply astonishing and very heavy, these boxes. Uh, remembering what's gonna happen afterwards is, uh, is gonna be the biggest challenge, like how to put everything back together. Let's go, number two. Lock number two, one lock left. but how do we open it? Where's the key? Ah, sneaky, right here. Where's my magnet? Come on, key. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I see. I <laughs> got it. <laughs> Last one. Puzzle, let's go. <laughs> this is a marathon of puzzles. Um, I'm trying to bring you guys closer here for this one. 
Okay. You guys can see that, right? Okay. So what we've got here, let's take out this foam stuff. Looks like I have to fill in that little square now. Let me make sure the focus is correct here. All right, so I've got all these little cubes. Oh, they don't all fit perfectly. Okay. So these cubes have different dimensions, even though slightly. That just definitely doesn't fit. That's four. Oh, I see. Like, I mean, even with that last one fitting, this thing still wouldn't open. Like, it needs to open more, or... Yeah, these poles need to slide across, but they can't slide across, and it's not because of the cubes. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. the last compartment, but I cannot open it until this last cube is placed. Okay, the final cube in its place. Let's go. Come on, please. Yes, oh, so satisfying. As you can see, all those cubes are now flush, which means Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the final prize. Fifty P puzzle. A smaller version of the famous 10 penny puzzle, first designed by Creative Craft House and proved mathematically by the Groot, Pekert, and Wurtz in 1990, fit all 10 coins inside of here. And you have all these little, all these little coins that need to fit perfectly into here. What a wonderful surprise. And that as well, as you can see, is made of solid brass. I think every one of, uh, every one of Felix Yours puzzles is absolutely genius. I love the craftsmanship on his work. I hate that I beat it up so much trying to open it, but that's, I mean, for me, that's part of my solving process, I guess, so no change in that. All right, without uh, skipping a beat here, this is what we're left with. This is a lot, uh, and I'm gonna try to put it all back together right now. monolith puzzle solved. I'll tell you exactly how long it took me. I think I text Felix. I text Felix at 1228 today. It is 728. Therefore, this took me seven hours to complete. Uh, she's a bit worn down now. Lost a bit of that shine initially, um, but I think still a great puzzle. Uh, again, yeah, check out the link. Well, hot dang, that is the monolith puzzle solved. Uh, my brain's dead. Um, I had to wash my hands like four times <laughs> from all the, the dirt, I guess, or the grease that was on that to keep it nice and greasy. Prizes for solving those individual puzzle boxes 
were more puzzles. The first one, we have the Triton puzzle, which resembles the Titan puzzle. We have a top it made of brass, and we have a take on the, what was it, 10 penny puzzles. Uh, all really dope little collector's items in themselves, uh, which comes once you receive this monolith. If you so choose to bid on it, it's on eBay, by the way. Hit up Felix once for a hint, as I mentioned, which was using all the tools, which we did. And after that, no more hints, so I'm quite happy about that. And even that hint, Every time you take a hint, you feel a little bit like, ah, oh, it's kind of like a magic trick when you find out how it works. You're like, ah, oh, why did I ask? Putting it back together probably took about 20 minutes. There was some reverse engineering there, so it wasn't too difficult. Now she goes away forever. I'm a little brain dead right now, so pardon me. Guys, if you like this video, please leave a like. We do this for you. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget, first dot shop drops tomorrow. We'll see you then. Peace.